Adaptive, a, a real big challenge for us has always been answering the question and responding to customers on integrating systems. With our application, it's a project and portfolio management solution and collaboration solution, also with work intelligence. And we needed to be able to integrate with other line of business applications such as ERP systems, financial systems, human resource information, help desk and trouble ticketing, IT asset systems such as Atidaly and Remedy and SAP and PeopleSoft. Every cust not every customer, but most of the larger organizations realized they needed to there was data in disparate systems and they wanted to be able to pull it all together and we had web services that allowed you to do that, but every conversation we got into with these customers, it, it really revolved around writing code and writing software to integrate with these web services. So I was getting pulled into so many discussions and I wanted to really be able to tell our customers, yes, we have a solution. And I went looking for uh, some EAI or ETL vendors and uh, we actually came across uh, pervasive as one of them and sort of shortlisted them and noticed that they had 150 or more pre-built connectors and that allowed me to go to our customers with a real solution now as opposed to writing code. Some of the solutions that we that we entertained or took a look at were other EAI vendors and or ETL vendors we, and we also thought about writing our own, uh, creating our own sort of EAI wrapper or middleware that people could use to connect to a CRM system or a financial system. But at the end of the day, they still needed to be able to go the last mile, and that involved writing code. So you're still writing code and maintaining code, which is, in our, in our experience, has been very brittle. If anything changes, it's very difficult to go in and modify it or even find the developer who wrote it or find the person who defined the requirements for it or the subject matter expert that, that knew that. So uh, it became very obvious that I needed a, a partner that I could trust that had you know, a great set of tools that had already done that. Why, why reinvent the wheel and, and do something that other people have expertise and do thousands of these integrations with? And, and uh, I came across Pervasive, they were shortlisted, and based on the relationships I had with them, uh, I knew that I had a really good feeling that they were going to be a good partner because in my business and professional services, I work with a number of different partners. And anytime you introduce a partner to a customer, you lose an, another level of sort of a, the, you insert another level of contact between yourself and the customer. And in software as a service, the relationships you have with your clients are critical because it's subscription and they have the ability to leave you at any point, to sort of unsubscribe. And so the relationship is key and I felt very confident and comfortable with the team at Pervasive. Um, and so far it's proven to, to be a, a really beneficial relationship for us. We wanted to be have Adaptive Connect powered by Pervasive, but we really wanted to be able to offer that as a, as a service to our customers that didn't require that they install software or hardware on their site and maintain it and it still supported our whole software as a service uh, delivery model and sort of proposition. And the ability to leverage some of the you know, data profiler and the integrator and the orchestration engine and all of the monitoring tools, you know, those are just the key and the, and the ease of use and simplicity of it, of those tools all together provides us with the opportunity to, do, to deliver an integration for a client at a fraction of the cost. The other thing we need to really deal with is the, is the varying volumes of data. Uh, some of it is uh, extremely high. You know, there could be, you know, for us high would be, you know, tens of thousands of records to, you know, maybe a hundred records. And those tend to be batched for us. Uh, we for example, timesheet data, which comes out of Daptive, when we go into PeopleSoft, you know that could be, you know, there could be a hundred thousand records for our largest customer, down to you know which is batch processed and done on a weekly basis or sometimes monthly basis, to integrating with the CRM solutions such as a Salesforce, where an opportunity 
uh, in Salesforce that's closed becomes now a, a service delivery project in Daptive, and that could be 20 or 30 a month. So it really does vary. One of the reasons why I really liked the pervasive solution was its ability to scale with us with customers where some other applications or vendors that I looked at required us to uh, install a separate unit in our data center to support it for every customer and I didn't want to become in you know get get into the hosting business for just integration and you know to need to rack another device was just it was a, a showstopper for us the nice thing about partnering with Pervasive and their their connectors and their architecture was that it really eliminated a lot of the challenges that we had uh, with integration because we all we have web services but our web services you know weren't necessarily architected ideally to be consumed by Pervasive but with the MCF component and the ability to wrap our web services we were able to overcome that and it took only a few you know, a few weeks to be able to create a connector for Daptive that now we can go to market with. It took me four months to have a, a contractor develop a utility for us using our web services just to bulk import projects. And now this is something that I can do with, with the Pervasive and, and, you know, and Daptive Connect, something we can do within two days at uh, you know the metamorphosis conference i've been able to meet with several of the different partners you know in north america as well as internationally and they understand pervasive they understand how to integrate with web services and so there's no need for me to staff that resource i'm just going to continue to leverage the partner network with their domain expertise the best thing about the whole partnership has been given me the ability to tell our customers yes. I'm getting literally four or f myself or uh, some other people on my team, um, you know, we're getting four or five hours a week back of our time because we get called into a sales opportunity where the customer wants to integrate and we always have to talk about our web services and discuss how that would be done and the, in the conversation just kept going over and over and repeating itself, but we were still being called into these, uh, into these pre-sales calls. And now we, we have collateral, we have a demonstration that's recorded, the, the sales team and the sales engineers are able to get involved on the pre-sales side, and now you know, I'm getting my time back, my team's getting their time back, and, and we have the ability to say, yes, we'll integrate, I have a perfect example of a customer, a prospect I should say, we were having a difficult time getting them to commit uh, and they wanted, but they wanted to discuss integration with, uh, with a financial system and with the sales force for example. Uh, they pulled uh, the director, uh, one of the directors on my team uh, into the call. It happened to be that we were doing one of the integrations currently with the system that they had, and we'd already done the Salesforce uh, integration. And towards the end of the call, the prospect told the sales rep, okay, just send me a sales agreement. And that would have never happened nine months ago. The best aspects of the, of the tools are its simplicity, its ease of use. Uh, I think from the actual the engine itself, allows us to support multi-tenancy and scalability as we start to roll out more integrations. But the biggest benefit of Pervasive and their, and their tools is the Pervasive team and the support that they've given me. Uh, without them, I, I don't believe us launching Daptive Connect would have been as successful as it has been.